Good morning. Hey guys. So we just dropped off our bags over here at Celebrity. This is our first time on any Celebrity Chef so Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's show you what the boarding process looks like. This is gonna be an awesome cruise. I'm very excited. Very, Action. very, very. First time. Loving it, loving it. All right, so we are here like super, super early. Well, our ride had to drop us yeah, off early, so but that's okay. We're just gonna hang. To drop us off early, so uh, anyway, it is 10 20. They said they're, they're gonna start boarding in about 11. I think, yep, yeah, it opens at 11, and they told us to just sit and just we're gonna yeah. hang out for a while. When they start boarding, we can drop our bags in our room, pick up our key, and go from there. Well, Corey didn't have his boarding pass, almost left him, but he found it, and now he's here. And everybody's going ahead of us now, you see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. His bag is so heavy. Got all the camera gear in it. What do you expect? I know. Heavy. And we're going uphill. I'm doing all the work, you guys. Oh, okay. Nice breeze. Hot and humid. I'm very excited. I'd rather have this than in the rain. Oh, We're on board, but there's a line to get inside. Yeah. A little bit different. It's because we're all going to the same place. We're in group two. Yeah. Ready to go to our mustard station. Yep. And then we're free to go ship. So I am going to see about making a reservation for La Petite. I don't know if I can do it here, but we're going to find out. Let's go check out the rooftop garden. We're going to get a drink and we'll check out where pickleball is going to be. Yeah. And it's on top of the ship, too. Yeah, since we just finished uh, getting our reservation to La Petite. La Petite Chef yes. for tomorrow.
Well, we are at the Sunset Bar. We decided it was time for a uh, libation to celebrate the start of our cruise. Libation. Yes, embarkation <laughs> libation. There you go. The little Debbie is out there somewhere in the Gulf causing trouble, but. Yeah, everybody that is impacted by that, please be safe. Yeah, and be we're safe. Of you. Looking at everybody. Um, looks like it's going to miss Fort Lauderdale or not have much impact here, but it is looking a little bit rough out there on the seas. Thank you. We got Vinod. Vinod on the bartender of Sunset Bar, Vinod. Yes. Awesome. And we got Eric. This is my server. Awesome. All right. Cheers. That's for Waverly. So the premium access is only available to purchase pre-cruise. Yeah. So what does that give us? That gives us so much content. Yeah. I mean, basically, we got it for the the Wi-Fi. The Wi, yeah. So right. You get Wi-Fi. You get premium Wi-Fi for two devices per person. You get priority boarding, you get priority luggage to your stateroom, you get um, reserved seating in the theater, you get um, uh, priority tender um, boarding and whatever, you get, you know, priority whatever for tenders. Tenders. <laughs> I like this chicken. Sorry. Anyway, um, what else? Um, oh, you get uh, room service, uh, no fees and gratuities, that's all waived. You can give extra gratuity if you choose to. Uh, lunch at Tuscan, where we're going right now, Tuscan restaurant, uh, between 12 and 2. And I'm missing one. Oh, disembarkation or debarkation. When you actually get off, you get priority luggage there as well. I think that's everything. All right. So let's go see what this uh, special premium lunch package is here. That's why the hair's up. <laughs> I gotta cool off a little. What are you getting? I am going, you know what, I'm hot, but I'm still I'm gonna get the soup. <laughs> I'm getting the, the butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash. I'm gonna get the short ribs and chocolate cake, of course. Hello. <laughs> thought that was plastic. What is is that? I said, I, so this is plastic because we were up, upstairs at the sunset floor, right? They look the same. But this is glass, thin glass. Like oh. that's a pretty fancy looking yeah. water glass here. And it tastes extra delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so so why are you laughing? What happened? <laughs> I'm laughing because I said I was getting the Caesar salad, big surprise, the uh, short ribs, uh, Moroccan glazed short ribs, and before I could say the dessert. Uh, our waiter said that I was going for the apple pie, which is what I was going for. But I'm not squashed. These are wow. salad. So the first impression was, oh, that's kind of thin, you know. But I took it. I took a taste of that. Oh my God, there's so much flavor packed in there. Like, wow, that's all I can say. It's, uh, it's like... Wow, his complex taste bud, complex taste bud, would love that. Want to try it? Yeah. Oh wow, that's got a lot of different flavors. It's packed. Like, kind of sweet and... Savory Spicy and, oh, and savory oh, yeah. all at once. Wow, interesting. Let me try this Caesar salad. The lettuce is fresh. The dressing is tasty. Uh, bay Parmesan cheese on it, which is nice. Good Caesar. How's it? Good. Very good. Tender. Yeah, so we both got the beef short ribs, or the, what was it, Moroccan glazed beef short mm -hmm. ribs. So, and so the, where I was eating didn't have like a lot of sauce on it, which I'm okay with, but I dipped it on the side and it's very good. Like yeah. a, it reminds me of um, like a beef stew almost. Like that yeah, it's got of, a lot of different things in there. It's got almonds and 
some are these raisins? Nectarine or something, raisins. Looks like it. Or some tabbouleh or something underneath there. Couscous. Couscous. All right. Mm. Not that I know what all that stuff is. But. A lot of different flavors. Very good. Very good. Um, something that I would probably not eat normally just because of all the stuff that's in it. But they're really blending a lot of different flavors together very well. Yeah, I give that an 8 out of 10. And a soup, I would say, would be a nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. That's me. So I would say the Caesar salad was, you know, seven out of ten. You know, it was good. Not spectacular, but it was really good. Uh, the beef short ribs were very tender. Uh, and very interesting, unique spices uh, in the dish. So that was good. Um, and different things, you know, like Laurie said, the, the raisins and the, the almonds and so a lot, lots of unique flavors. Interesting dish for sure. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I think it was done well, presented well, uh, tasty and unique. I do not want this big spoon. Not only is it really heavy, but it's really big. I like teaspoons to eat with. You like the small spoon, yeah. I do. Yeah. I'm tempted to ask for them, but I'm not going to do it because you're rolling and I got to just try it. So we'll just take a very small little piece. Okay. Very, very moist. It's very, very like creamy and soft. And lots of flavors. And it's very good for probably most everyone, but it's got caramel all over it. <laughs> and oh, I don't like no. caramel. <laughs> it's like a. You know, I didn't read that on there, but uh, it's supposed to be like a le le trace leche or a gold something leche. Uh, and, de leche. Yes, and that's why it's so like soft and, and moist and stuff. But very very sweet. The apple pie is it, it's pretty good. I mean it's. Uh, not overly sweet. Not overly sweet. A little bit of tartness from the apples, paired with a vanilla ice cream and a little bit of whipped cream and uh, cinnamon crust. So yeah, pretty good. I tr also tried Laurie's uh, chocolate cake, and it was uh, it was good for me. <laughs> I thought that was that was a pretty good one. But she doesn't like caramel, so. Lunch was excellent. Very, very good. Yeah. I'm on a sugar high right now. Yeah, it was, it was really good for sure. And now we're going to run back to the room real quick and maybe we'll check out some stuff at the fitness center. Or uh, yeah, we're going to check out the Aqua Speed and the spa and the fitness center or the, the classes and stuff. Yeah. That's See what we can figure out. Do list. Yeah, that's blackout for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the right. Do I hold it? Probably. That's I'll hold it. Happening. Yeah. We've got our balcony. <laughs> our first infinite balcony. It's kind of bright. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of bright out here, but uh, we're we, got, <laughs> we have our infinite balcony open. And the doors close here to kind of block off the room, but you're still going to be letting the humidity in for yeah, sure. Yeah, you are. And it turns off the, the AC, so right. keep that in mind. Unlike uh, a traditional balcony where you just walk out on the balcony, close the balcony door, and your room stays the same temperature, doesn't work that way here, but well, we'll give it's it still kind of nice. And yeah. that's why we shut the doors, to kind of feel like we're on the balcony. Yeah. I mean, I don't no. care if the doors are open. If there's no AC anyway, who cares if the doors are open? Right. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, finish lunch. It was good. Oh my God, it was delicious. Uh, our room is ready now. It's yeah. one ten. Didn't look like it changed much. Yeah, from earlier, didn't change but... much, but they took away the uh, the sign that said uh, that it's almost ready. Almost ready. Yeah. Uh, we still don't have our bags. I know we're supposed to get our bags early. Well, with the our room's not supposed to be well until one thirty, so it's one fifteen. Yeah. So. So yeah. Hopefully we'll have those soon. I do have the pickleball court set up, but Somebody my paddle's in my bring bag. I said, and, there's in the check bag. Upstairs. So maybe I'll just bring mine, and he can just have paddle and be for a little while. Yeah, let's see if I can beat you with a wooden paddle. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound right. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> That's if you are on that one, then you're going to have a question. We are, yes. Eight in the morning. Eight until ten? Okay. And then the gym. I'm interested in this, this one here. Good. Those are complimentary seven. Yeah. Hey guys, so we just finished the sail away. We are sailing down. Yeah, we met some awesome people, and we are going to a meetup at the Cafe El Bacio for yeah. the Facebook group. And you them all the drink. Give me a <laughs> lot of alcohol. <laughs> I didn't buy most of it. That's hey, the worst hey, hey. part. It's a secret. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> so we came back to the room to drop some stuff off and we are heading over to the meetup yep. at Cafe Buco at 5 o'clock. Cafe El Bacio. El Bacio. Well, we're 10 yeah. minutes late, so gotta go. We gotta Just get there. To say yep. hey. It's been awesome so far. And then we're gonna go to Blue for dinner and we'll come yep. back and let you know when we go. Alright, here we go. Alright, Facebook group, where are you? Apparently there were some people here earlier and they left, so I yeah. posted in the Facebook group to see where they were. Um, we're here and well, there's to be nobody group, else so. here, so. We're here though, hey, at least we We love made it. interacting with people and with groups and. Look, we, we, we brought, like. We brought our groups. giveaways. Only there's, 14. There's a group of people down there. Do you want to go see if they're down there? Yeah, let's go see if those folks are part of our group. Nobody showed no. up. I just got a message. All right. People are coming. Yes, they said they'll stop back down. No, they just said they were there a little while ago. Nobody was here. They'll stop back down and look for us. I'm having the best time. We're meeting lots of people, and yeah. we're, we're actually being really social, and it's really a lot of fun, and now we're going to get ready to go to dinner. Yep, here we go. So we're here at Blue. All showered and ready for dinner. Yep. Ready for dinner. So we're gonna see what this blue thing is all about. Our table's almost ready. They asked us to wait just a minute. So we will be back with you once we get seated.
This is the right size spoon. Yeah. I didn't even know this was soup. What kind of, is that a, another acorn squash soup? No, this is the white gazpacho. Oh, white gazpacho. Yeah. I didn't right. know it was soup. So. And I had the uh, and it's crab cold. martini. I was going to get that crab meat one. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Like nothing I've ever tasted before. There's, I can't even tell you what flavors are in. There's, nothing leaves and nothing takes out. It's, it's like I've, I've read because I had to look it up. So there's like almond flour, there's lime, there's cucumber, maybe. I lost is my uh, cold soup? Yes. Yes. <laughs> cucumber? <laughs> yeah, different. Not my thing. At all. Thank you. Just try to grab martini. It looks like tuna salad made with crab. Looks good. Tastes like crab. Is it good? It's got some kind of. Uh, it's the masada. Fish eggs or yes. caviar I look, I look roe. Okay. Masada on top of it, little orange things there. Interesting. So what do you think of that uh, steak? And is it a ribeye steak? And some kind of white bean something. It was a white gas gazpacho something. Oh, that was that was your soup. But. Yeah, I had to look stuff up. So I, <laughs> um, I was looking originally at what you got, and so I was like, I had to go up online and, and put the words in, and so they would tell me what it was. And so I did that, even with the white gazpacho, too. Um, it was different. It had grapes in it. It was supposed to have smoked bacon, which I guess, yeah, it did. Um, they weren't big pieces, so it wasn't anything I could tell. It was very different. And, and I'm, I'm trying to have an open mind with it because it's not something that I would normally eat. The ribeye? Uh, um, it was. It wasn't bad. I, I didn't really care for the gravy that was on it. You know, just give me a steak. I'm happy. Yeah. Um, it was thin, and it, it, it was cooked perfect. It had a lot of gristle on it, which for me, I'm okay with. I mean, I literally ate all the fat, the gristle, everything on it. It was no steak left on my plate. You know, what was left on my plate. <laughs> Everything else. It was it was good. Um, I would probably give it a seven and a half out of ten. And the white gazpacho was nothing like I've ever tasted before. Um, it had grapes in it. It had smoked bacon and, um, and and almonds in it. Sliced almonds. And it was like an almond flour kind of cold soup. I didn't know it was soup either. So many things I had to look up online before <laughs> before I ordered because <laughs> we don't normally eat like this. It was good. I would give that one probably like a seven and a half, eight too. And again, it's not because they weren't good. It's because we don't. I don't normally eat that stuff. So that's that's why it's not like high high. The foods have been excellent. I have no complaints about the food at all. I would say the the ribeye was okay. You know, it's not what you'd expect to get from a chops grill or something like that. It was probably a quarter inch thick. Uh, yes, thank you. And it was okay. It didn't have a, a lot of gristle uh, thank or you. fat or anything like that. So it, yeah, it wasn't too bad. That. I don't want to suck through this. <laughs> Uh, um, so Laurie had the peach 
whatever it was. I don't remember the name. It was some kind of French thing. And just to let you know, that was kind of like a kind of like a peach cobbler, except it had more of the bready part of the cobbler and a whole lot less of the peaches. It had pistachios in it. And it also had rosemary on it. So it had an interesting combination of flavors. And on top of that, they put some kind of warm sour cream or something on top. Hi there. So that was very different. It wasn't bad. It was very interesting combination of flavors. Just really different. I had the tiramisu. It was a very good tiramisu. Honestly, the whole, the standout of dessert was definitely that pistachio and ice cream. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. I have not had an ice cream that was that good or that I, you know, would rave about and I don't know how long, but that pistachio ice cream was just phenomenal. And who would think you'd say that about an ice cream? So I have to agree with Corey, the pistachio ice cream was delicious. I like that better than anything else on the table. Although. I don't eat tiramisu because y'all know that I don't eat coffee, drink coffee, and tiramisu tastes like coffee. <laughs> so uh, the pistachio ice cream was delicious. The peach, whatever it was, was okay. It had it had it had hot sour cream on it. It had rosemary in it, pistachios in it, peaches, and like a like a crust. It was just I I I am. I don't even know. I'm like at a loss for words and all the different flavors and all the different kinds of foods that they put together um, for a meal. And everything has really been excellent, excellent. Even though it's stuff we don't necessarily eat, it's been very good, very happy. So we're in the back of the ship in Eden yeah. on a, like a, I mean, for lack of a better way to say it, it's like a balcony of sorts, right? <laughs> yep, you listen to music and nobody's back here. No. I mean, we've got 20, 30 seats uh, lining the, the uh, after the ship here. Right behind the nobody's stage. Nobody's sitting here. No. There's some people in. Uh, yeah. Eden. It's pretty cool. Where the bar is. The restaurant's downstairs from where we are. Right now. Yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. So we finished no, dinner it's, at Blue. It's 10, yes. Wandered around the ship a little bit. But we're about ready to call it a night. Maybe yeah. do a couple of more things. We but, didn't uh, sleep very well last night. That's for sure. Yeah, we, we walked around a little bit. We walked down. We were on, what, deck five at where uh, yeah. Blue is. We went down to four and went down to three. Yeah. There's all the kind of the Eden. main dining. Yeah, Eden. And that was kind of cool. Dining rooms we passed by. We yes. did find out that we can get anything from any dining room in blue. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Why go anywhere else? I mean, if you want to check it out, you, you can, can check it out, but you don't have to. Right. And we have and we can go into blue at any time. If yeah. we go to the main dining room, our, our seating is six. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of cool. That's fine. Uh, anyway, we've got an early day tomorrow. We're, uh, we've got some free fitness classes. So we're going to be doing yeah. yoga at like 
eight o'clock in the I'm morning. Getting, oh, yes, he's gonna do yoga. Uh, he wouldn't let me sign him up for day five yoga, only tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do tomorrow and see how that goes. We need to stretch, that's why. I think it would be I, good for I both could do of us. some stretching, yes. Yes. Um, but then we've got pickleball. 10.30 open play. 10.30 open play, so we're gonna try to hit that. All right, so anyway, we're gonna show you guys all of that next week. Hope you've yeah. been, you guys have enjoyed this show. Uh, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you really like the kind of content that we're putting out, hit that subscribe button. Yes, do it. Because then you won't miss anything, especially if you hit the notification bell. Yeah. Yep. We'll tell you right when we're coming on. That's right. We go live generally once a week, and we have a new episode coming out every Saturday. And you know the pros about that? What's that? It's free, and you won't have FOMO. FOMO, just in case you don't know, you're missing out. Yeah, FOMO. Yes, yes. No FOMO around no here. No FOMO. All right, guys. From peaks to tides. We'll see you on the next ride.